regular girls and guys and everyone who's listening. I am Stacey McGonigal, and you are listening to Regular Girls. I want to say hello. How are you? Thanks for listening. Thanks for continuing to listen. This week, Renee is gone as well, uh, which is fine and great because we are going to have a solo pod. Yes, that is correct. A solo pod. Just me and you and whatever you're doing. I always wonder what people are doing when they listen to a podcast. I walk my dogs. I clean my house. I find it soothing. No, that's not weird. So uh, let me know. Tweet at me. Let me know how you guys listen. And again, no pervs. I, I can't deal with any perv stuff. You know that. I'm a simple gal with simple rules. But yes, welcome to Regular Girls. I know our schedules have been haywire, and I know I say that often. These last couple of months have been crazy. Um, I'm currently working at the Second City, uh, which is a comedy theater here in Toronto, and it's been going great. I'm also doing a fringe show in Toronto for the Toronto Fringe Festival with my dear friend Jason. We're doing a show called Will Be Better Tomorrow. We open July 4th, run to July 14th. And uh, so if you're in Toronto, come see. It's going to be a good time. And Renee is super busy traveling, doing a million different things. So I am so thankful you guys are sticking with us. And I, uh, I promise you we are working effortlessly to get back on track for Thursday uploads. I know I see the tweets. I see them. I let them land. And I feel bad. Uh, but we're here. We're going to have a little weekend uh, special. Well, I guess Monday special. Uh, it is Canada, Canada Day here. Literally. I hope I can send a little message to my mouth to um, get it together. But today is Canada Day. And uh, it's a day off here in Canada. It's a long weekend. So I'm celebrating by talking with you guys. And I had mentioned on Instagram if anyone had any cues that I would A them. So people have sent some cues. So I thought we would have a little dish sesh. Right? So um, let's get into it, shall we? A lot of you guys were asking. Let's pull up the first question. Uh, shall we? Um so we have a question from Alexa, and she says, this question is for you, Stacey. If or when you start thinking negative or start doubting yourself, what is it that you say to yourself to get you out of the funk? Um, so this question comes up a lot. A lot of people dealing with self-doubt, and I know that we tackle this on the pod a lot. Uh, my last week conversation with Jordan Armstrong, which a lot of you liked, which I dug so much because it involved tarot cards, and uh, and also Jordan, who uh, we talked about anxiety and what that breeds and what that means. And um, I think a lot of people suffer with anxiety or self-doubt. And I think I am no master on the subject. I certainly have my self-doubt moments uh, more often than not. But... Um, I think the best advice is uh, is just to think about how you would interact with your best friend. If your friend was feeling down about themselves, what would you say to them? I'm sure you would tell them how pretty they are and great they are and smart they are and how caring they are. And if you feel that way about them and they are still your friend, I'm sure they think the same thing about you. I also think doing something each day for yourself actually is the best thing. It's also the hardest thing, I think. Um, recently, I was, you know, sort of suffering with some, um, you know, body uh, doubt. Oh, I want my body to look like this. I wish it was this. Oh, I, oh, why can't it, you know, why can't I just be a young Diane Keaton? As you know, if you're new to the pod, I'm in love with Diane Keaton. If, if you've been listening, you're like, yeah, we get a girl. Buy some gloves. But um, so I decided every day I'm going to try and do something good for my body. I'm going to eat right or I'm going to go to yoga or I'm going to take my bike for a ride or I'm going to walk to work or I'm going to move my body. I'm going to do something good for it. And um, because I'm not interested in losing a million trillion pounds, but doing those little things makes me actually physically feel better. I feel less tired. I feel less groggy, which means I feel less you know, low and I keep my energy high. So little things like that I have found really helped. And so I hope that helps you. But again, I am by no means, <laughs> I am by no means, um, you know, someone to say that, but, and I hope that helps do something good for yourself. If you're feeling a little low, put on your favorite song, watch your favorite movie, go for a walk, getting outside in the sun. That's always great. So I hope that helps Alexa. You also ask, uh, which is a not so serious question, which I love me some not so serious questions, is um, have I ever used the Aztec secret Indian healing clay? I have not. I've heard amazing things. I've watched a million things on YouTube about it. You say that you can mix it with apple cider vinegar, which you know I am a massive fan of. 
love me some ACV, but no, I haven't tried that. If people have tried it, please, please let me know. I would um, absolutely love to hear your thoughts. If, uh, if you're new, and I think that'll be a theme because I like to check in. I know we're building our audience. So if you're new, hi. Um, but I am sort of known as the, the Dr. Quinn here on the pod. I love a natural remedy. I, I cannot get enough. I often get asked all the time on social media, literally who am I even talking about? Who even says social media? Um, I swear to God, I'm young. Not really. And, uh, and um, so people ask me often what I use. So um, I guess I can go into like my daily regimen of things that I use a Dr. Quinn style. I love me some ACV. I think apple cider vinegar is incredible. People always ask what kind of apple cider vinegar I use. I use Bragg's ACV. And what's uh, good about that is it's organic and it also comes with the mother. So that sounds gross and that's because it is. But on the bottle, it'll say with the mother and... Again, here at Regular Girls, we are just uh, usually lacking a backstory, but uh, that I uh, believe the mother is uh, including the fermentation. So like uh, with uh, kombucha, you have the SCOBY, which is what creates the fermentation. Um, so you want the apple cider vinegar with the mother. And I use this to tone my skin. I always recommend people to start with a low, low dose. Um, you can even do like 1090, like... You, 90 water, 10% ACV, uh, really just go with yourself and what your skin can take. I have very sensitive skin, so my dosage is actually quite low. I have overdone it and like my face was red. So really be careful with it. But toning it, uh, it works wonders. It's really alleviated a lot of redness in my face. I also use um, apple cider vinegar as a drink. Uh, I'll put a tablespoon in sparkling water. You can also put it in regular water, but in sparkling water... I like it better because it tastes kind of like kombucha. And um, that's really great to balance the pH in your body. I hope people are still interested in this. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, your body is kind of like a pool, right? And, you, and when you own a pool, you have to balance the pH. So um, I put that in water and that helps alleviate like sugar cravings. Um, it also really aids in digestion. If you're someone like me and are blessed with the bloat, uh, if I eat... Um, any sort of food, really. I get soups bloated. And so uh, ACV, a little um, a drink before I eat, uh, really does help. So I love me some ACV. Can't get enough. I'm also a huge fan of oil of oregano, which is great as a performer. It really like, aids with my throat and making sure that that, that works. But um, I take oil of oregano almost every day. It's a great... Um, antibacterial it keeps you healthy so I love that so so much also Renee got me into the vitamin e oil so usually I do like an ACV toner um, when I'm not using my Tula products which honestly Tula is not even we're not even you know raving about them they're not a sponsor today so uh, but they're amazing and um, I use that or if I if I don't have it then I use my ACV vitamin e oil and vitamin e is like changed my face it's incredible. I always, uh, I also use Pond's cold cream, which is like an old lady lotion and you can find it at a CVS or if you're in Canada, Shoppers Drug Mart, it's super cheap. Um, and that's like a lotion cleanser. So like you put that on your face, it takes your makeup off in three seconds. And then I wash my face after that because the moisturizer is pretty thick. So, um, Pond's cold cream, ACV, vitamin E oil, get your face right and sunscreen guys I know it's the summer so here it is your internet mom telling you get sunscreen on your face and your body okay trust trust I can't say enough good things about sunscreen right everyone be cool um, okay so here's another question from Cassandra she says if you could be on any reality show which one would you choose and why she said she would choose Big Brother. As you guys know, I am an, like a huge reality TV show lover. But Big Brother is one I just can't get behind. Not because I don't like it, but it just doesn't grab me. I don't know. I don't get it. And it, I, it doesn't make sense because I should like Big Brother. I should. There's no reason to not. What I love, oh my God, my favorite shows, like I love a Vanderpump Rules. Um, I love a Real Housewives of New York. I love Below Deck. If you um, if you've been listening to, I don't know if I talk about Below Deck enough because I really, really, really do love a Below Deck moment. Um, yeah, 
So I, I mean, I would love to be, I mean, here's the thing about below deck that I could probably like not be successful on is they actually have to work and they have to like get up early and stuff, which I just like, I obviously can't get behind. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I would probably be maybe, a, maybe a housewife. I think I'd be a good housewife. I like love a little drums. Um, I love like stirring that up or I would. And especially cause I would have to like fundamentally be rich to be on the pod or to be on the pod. Jeez. That's where my mind is. Um, I would have to be rich to be on the show. So I think I would probably most likely want to be on a housewife franchise. And I do include Vanderpump on that. Um, I know I have talked about wanting to be on survivor as well. I think I would be good at that. I, yeah, so maybe Survivor, but like if my life changes and I become like a millionaire living in New York, then obviously a real housewife of New York. I mean, I love dinner and I love a glass of wine and I love going on trips because I, I never do that because my life is cool right now. So yeah, maybe maybe that. I know many of you might think I would say Bachelor, but I mean, that just seems like a whole like sad sandwich that I don't know if I'd want to be a part of it. I'd love to host a, like a bachelor after show. I mean, that would be just sick as all hell, but yeah. So maybe survivor for like competitive natures and housewife for leisure. I hope that makes sense. So before we get into the next question, I wanted to thank our first sponsor of the episode with these sponsors. This podcast would not be possible. So I'm so happy that they want to work with regular girls. And our first is our good friends, daily burn. So Daily Burn is the fitness program that you guys can stick with and get results that last. I know a lot of you, after we were talking about Daily Burn before, signed up and we're sticking to it. And I'm so happy about that. I love Daily Burn. They're the world's leading provider of on-demand video workout programs that you can do at home or truly anywhere with a connected device. It's super convenient. You can do it anywhere. You can do it on your phone. You can do it on your laptop. If you hook it up to your TV because you're fancy like that, it really works anywhere. You can even do it at the gym. Sometimes I'll put on Daily Burn at the gym when I'm at the Y and, uh, and I'll get my workout out on there. So it it does really work for anyone, frequent travelers, busy parents, um, people like me who just don't want to leave their house. Anything can work. Also, what's great about it is it truly has thousands of classes for every level of athlete. And that's what I like that they said that because I like to be considered an athlete, even if it's like three times a week. I'm an athlete, goddammit. So there's truly everything. You could do yoga. You could do cardio, uh, kickboxing, dance classes. Those dance classes should not be missed. They are so fun when you're by yourself at your house, just like letting loose. And I put my Fitbit on and I was so impressed with the amount of calories I was burning. I'm not even kidding. Because listen, as you know, going to the gym is hard. I don't know if you're like me, but I sit at my house in my workout clothes and I'm like, I'm going to the gym. And then an hour later, I'm like, I'm going to the gym. And then I never end up going to the gym here. I just turn my TV on and I go and it's great. And what's great is they have um, they have classes that also match any sort of time frame. So there's really no excuse to not make yourself feel good. Like we were talking about before, put in the time for yourself. You're important and you need it. They take less time than the gym. It costs way less than fancy exercise gadgets. And it literally requires little to no equipment. So if you need a little extra motivation, they have an active online community, which, you know, I love as an Internet community lover where you can share your fitness journey and connect with Daily Burn trainers and members just like you. Plus, they stream a new live workout every day. So if you want to get up and feel like you're part of the community, you can get up and do it as the new live stream or you can catch it every day afterwards. It's really fun. So visit dailyburn.com slash regular today to start your first or and free, first and free people, 30-day trial. Again, that's visit dailyburn.com slash regular and today to start your free 30-day trial. So that's dailyburn.com slash regular dailyburn.com slash regular. No excuses, people. 60 days, 30 days, 30 days. Get on it. All right. So let's get back to more questions, shall we? I mean, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I love these Q&A sort of sections um, because you guys always send us cues and I would love to answer them as much as possible. So, um, so someone has asked how long have you and Renee been friends and how did you meet? So we've answered this uh, a few times and I'll be quick about it. Um, if you're sort of, uh, haven't caught the, uh, the story of Renee and I, but Renee and I were friends in Toronto and, um, and we sort of just kind of kept in touch and, you know, when she moved to New York and started working for WWE, we still stayed connected. And one day we were just like, why don't we just like start a pod and chat? And um, it really was that easy. We just like the first day we like Skyped and chatted and it was, 
easy breezy and the time flew by and we were like I think we have something here we like chatting these are the silly things we like to talk about and it's uh it's been great so yeah it was kind of just we met in Toronto when she was working at a television um station here and I was working at the second city and now she's back at WWE and I am at the second city still but it's amazing so uh yeah that's how we met pretty easy stuff so someone has asked Claire asks me and I think I said glare, but Claire, hey girl, she has asked, have you mastered the bang life? Guys, you guys know I've been wanting bangs forever and I was debating it and debating it and debating it. And literally every time I got my hair cut, my hairdresser was like, please do not ever bring up bangs ever again. Um, and so I decided to get bangs. I came in with a reference photo of Kirsten Dunst, which I often do. I don't know why I feel like she's like my hair guru, but she is. Every time I look on Pinterest for like short hairstyles, I always go with the Kirsten Dunst. Is it because I feel that we have the same face shape? Yes, that's got to be it. But it's uh, it's very different. So I finally decided to get bangs. And I'm not going to lie to you. They were far too short when I got them cut. Now, I'm not putting this on the hairdresser, although it has to go somewhere. But my hair, my bangs were messed. Like meh, eh, 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 eh. I took a photo on Instagram. I got a lot of support from dear friends. Now, here's the thing. Instagram is um, a lie, right? We all use it. We all use the angles. We all use the filters. And so in person, those bangs were messed. And I knew that because when I walked into my rehearsal at Second City, it was met with like, wow. And that's never good. If if people, if you get a haircut or you try a, a new style and you get met with, wow, wow. Oh, you know that not to say that they don't appreciate the look they're not ready for it that's kind of my two cents about it and then it was like I knew instantly that the bangs were too short and I was like freaking out and I it was confirmed with many friends saying don't worry it will grow out now when you're met with it'll grow out it means girl this is not good so um, I started my bang life pretty harshly and I started hiding them and but they've since grown out and I'm loving it. I'm really trying to get the 70s, you know, blunt bang, like split down the middle look. I'm a bit of an Alexa Chung vibe. I haven't reached that yet. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with the bang life. I think I've mastered it. I think it takes a lot of confidence. It really like demanded or required me to just be like, I have bangs now. I'm, I'm a woman with bangs, people, and lean in. It's a look. I tried to do the blunt bang look with the split in the front and at a an award show, award show, uh, the Canadian Comedy Awards here uh, in Toronto, uh, which is a very small uh, thing. And um, anyway, someone saw my bangs and were like, oh, you're trying that look. And that's when I knew also I, they weren't ready. The girl, the bangs, I call them the girls, were not ready. So they need a couple more inches, I think, to get the vibe, but I'm holding on strong. I also will say that I've now been watching Queer Eye. I know I'm late to the game, guys. Everyone lay off. Please love a Queer Eye. And Jonathan Van Ness has the hair that I've always wanted. And so now I'm like, do I grow it out so I can do a center part and a turtleneck? Is that the, is that the winter vibe? It may be. I don't want to give up on the bangs, but they're hard. Um, so Claire also asks, I don't know if I can keep up with the bangs in the summer heat. It's just all sweat and bobby pins. Absolutely. And may I suggest dry shampoo? Also, here's the thing that I'm learning about hair. If you want like a regular girl's hot tip. With hair and style, sometimes you just need to invest in better product. And this comes from a girl who almost exclusively gets her makeup from the drugstore. So I am a budget baby on all fronts. I'm a budget baby on hair. I'm a budget baby on face. I'm a budget baby on clothes. And now at the tender, beautiful age of 32, I'm sort of realizing that sometimes we need to invest. And I've since invested in a really nice Kevin Murphy texturizing spray. I started with the travel can. It was $14, which I know is a lot of money. And um, I have noticed an, a, an absolute difference in my hair. I've also invested in a better dry shampoo. I mean, I, I love a Dove dry shampoo. It's one of my faves. Batista, I think, is a little too thick for me because I have very th uh, fine hair. But... Um, 
yeah, a good dry shampoo and a good texturizing spray will do wonders for your hair. So if you're feeling like you're caught in the sweat spiral of the summer, try investing in maybe a different dry shampoo or a different texturizing spray and you might feel like a world of difference. Um, yeah, so sometimes an investment is actually really great. If that makes sense. I feel like Queer Eye is really rubbing off on me by my response to that. Um, okay, so... Savannah sends me a message that says, so I love your Dr. Quinn vibe. You know that I'm loving a vibe here on the pod, but how do you afford it? This is, guys, this is kismet as I was just talking about being a budget baby. Is there anywhere in particular where you shop for staples in beauty food um, and dog food? Also, what do you feed your pups? Okay, so let's talk about me first before we get into the terrors that are my dog. So I am, like I said, a budget baby and um, I'm the first one to like, buy the self-help books, watch the things on YouTube, read about the fads. And yeah, being healthy is expensive. But here is the turnaround that I have realized. Skincare does not need to be expensive. Skincare is easy, easy, easy. Um, And I say this um, as someone who doesn't have very horrible acne issues. I know how bad they can be. I had them in university. I had like later onset acne at the age of 21, like cystic, cystic acne. And I feel like the best way that I competed with it was the Dr. Quinn all natural route. So again, I'm going to bring back apple cider vinegar. A bottle of that is $3. Um, you can get a big Bragg's, at least in Canada. I'm sure. I know when I was living in the States, it was it was cheap too. Apple cider vinegar is very cheap and is super great for your skin. You can also make um, great face masks. I know on Queer Eye, Jonathan was talking about a certain honey. I think it was Manuka honey or something like that. Um, so if you have Netflix, check out those episodes. Uh, you can do like honey masks. You can do... Um, Vitamin E oil, which is in a lot of skincare. You can get that a little bottle of that from Trader Joe's, which is not that expensive. Um, So I found that like scaling back my skincare to being very base and natural was actually a huge budget saver in in my life. So apple cider vinegar, very cheap. Vitamin E oil, very cheap. Um, Drink lots of water, water in the tap or in your Brita. Water, water, water. I'm a hypocrite because I haven't had water today and it's 1 p.m. But I'm telling you, when I make an active choice to drink a bunch of water, I see a change in my energy, in my skin, um, in my digestion. So things like that are very cheap. I think we're always looking for a quick fix and that's when we spend all the money, right? That's when... That's when I spend all my money is when I'm like, oh God, I need to change my life. I need to be healthier. I'm going to buy these $80 sweatpants. I'm going to buy um, this like this detox program, this juice fast program that's $100. It's going to get me on track. But what can get you on track is basic skincare, water, you know, um, walking, that's free, running. When I was in LA and super broke, I just got out and ran. Um, so that's how I do that. As far as food goes, um, I mean, I love a, a, a farmer's market. I love a little food, uh, or like street market. Um, we have uh, fruit markets here, um, just on the street, down the street for me, there's two or three. And so I'll go there for my produce and I'll like, you know, um, if you're on a budget and you want to eat healthy, that's when you got to become like the sleuth, where are the deals, plan your meals, um, I know uh, as someone, I'm currently on a budget. Uh, I don't do this all the time. So again, please take this as like hypocritical information. I'm not perfect in any respect, but planning your meals for the week is so useful because you know what you're going to cook. You know what you're going to eat. You're not buying random Brussels sprouts going, what am I going to do with these? Which is my current life right now. So plan your meals and, and that makes sure that you're using all the food in your fridge and nothing's going to waste. And, and just force yourself to bring your food places. I know how easy it is to just go to work and then buy food there, but throwing it in your purse, honestly, you're going to feel like a full diva. Like, oh, what was that? Sorry, brought my own food. Hey, sorry about it. Enjoy your pizza. I'm having roasted veggies and quinoa because I care about myself. So um, basics, go to the basics. Because I mean, listen, I know how pretty Sephora is. I know how pretty that makeup is, but I'm telling you, a lot of it is overpriced garbage. Sorry about it. It just is. And um, and now we all know that I'm on like a Parisian makeup kick. So it, I've actually started reducing 
my makeup when I was younger I would like slap on the thick foundation throw on a million shades of eyeliner and eyeshadow do the cat eye do the big lash the big lip like it was a look and I'm finding now that I'm getting into my 30s the look the look I actually like is sort of like a based around the glossier vibe very natural Um, I'll put on a bold lip uh, for some fun and I love that but um sometimes less is more. So I know Glossier can be quite expensive sometimes. Um, There's some great alternatives that I found that I'll share now. I love the Garnier BB Cream. Um, I find that it gives you enough coverage to cover up any redness, which I certainly have. And then I'll buy, I use a Rimmel, or no, Maybelline Better Than Skin is a great concealer uh, that I use for like little spots or a little under eye brightening if you want, but I don't put a lot under my eye because it always looks cakey. And I like people to see my freckles and my skin because I feel like if you have, if you treat your skin, then you actually will use less makeup, which means you're using less money because um, you're not going through it so fast. So really invest in your skin. Um, but I use Garnier BB Cream instead of the Glossier Foundation just because I find it works just as well and it's cheaper. Um, I love the the Boy Brow by Glossier, but I also have found a dupe of that if you are a drugstore baby, uh, which I am too, and it is Maybelline Brow Precise. I believe mine was $13 in Canada, but I will definitely be cheaper in the States because that's just how it is. And the Maybelline Brow Precise is great and it's honestly a dupe and it's really great so um there's that and i love flower beauty by drew barrymore it's sold at walmart ulta and i think i don't know about um i don't know if it's in like shoppers or cvs but she has amazing lipsticks amazing foundations if you like something full coverage that's super budget friendly and amazing really good um and i also love these maybelline matte um, lip stains and I use them at Second City and my lips do not come off. It, they are incredible. I'll take a photo of them and uh, post it and if I forget, please remind me but that's amazing too. So those are all like drugstore products that oh and I only get I only get drugstore mascara. I know like you'll go on YouTube and see like Dior Show and all that kind of stuff but from being on set brag not really at all but a lot of makeup artists that I've worked with they use drugstore mascara. It's all the same. It's all the same. I love Voluminous, although it can be like really like clunky sometimes and like fall off. Um, But Maybelline, I'll always try a new lash from Maybelline, whatever's on sale. So just like be budget and be fierce. You don't have to go to Sephora and get the Tarte Amazonian blah, blah, or like the Yves Saint Laurent blah, blah. You can look beautiful and stunning on a budget. So uh, play around. I hope that answers your question, Savannah. And please follow up and let me know how that's working for you. Um, f- as far as dog food, my dogs have very sens- sensey tummies. Um, so uh, I feed them uh, a can of Pacifica. It's just a, uh, it's just a fish food for them, for, the, for my boys. Um, but anyways, I hope that helps. And I hope that was like not too much of a run-on situation. Um, Sorry, I hit the mic. I'll have to fix that. Sorry about that. So before I get into the next question, I want to talk about our next. Honestly, guys, I'm telling you, the universe has literally been lining up because our next sponsor of the pod is Rover. Rover is the largest network of five-star pet sitters and dog walkers in North America. Currently serving pet parents across the U.S. and Canada, Rover connects dog owners with trusted pet care whenever they need it. Now, Renee and I work a bunch, are always out, and so this is an amazing service, and I know that we've got a lot of busy people here listening to the pod, and you guys all got pets too. So, Whether you need in-home dog boarding, pet sitting, dog walking, or daycare, Rover connects pet parents with dog people who will treat their uh, their pets like family. So Rover sitters are your rainy day dog walkers, your everyday belly rubbers, your tug of war players, your middle of the night pee breakers, because we get it, your dog is your family. And Berger and Vic are certainly, truly humans in my family. They um, they are my everything, and I know that Blue is everything to Renee and John. So. Rover um, is the, like I said, the nation's largest national network of five-star pet sitters and dog walkers. They offer um, 
Rover offers access to reviewed, trusted pet sitters and dog walkers for every dog, owner, and lifestyle. Your dog deserves the best, so only 20% of the sitters who begin their profiles on Rover are ultimately accepted. So there is a rigorous sort of like weaning out process, which is great because you know how scary it is to have your dogs be handled by someone you don't know. What's also amazing about Rover is they have an easy to use app. You can search, book, and favorite and pay all through uh, Rover's convenient app. And you receive adorable photos and a detailed map of your dog's walk, including when they pooed and peed, which, as you know, we need to know. Um, and I feel like that's like you know where they're going, you know what they've done, you know what neighborhood they're walking around, and you sort of have peace of mind. And you also get custom updates, which is really great. You also get a free in-person interview and home environment visit to find the perfect match between your sitter, owner, and pet, which I think is wonderful. And you can read verified reviews and browse photos of the sitter's home, pets, and past stays. So every booking is backed by a reservation guarantee and 24-7 access to pet care professionals. Honestly, as someone who does work and has crazy schedules, sometimes it is hard to find time um, to make sure your dog is getting the best care that it needs. And honestly, this is an amazing service that I would highly recommend. Um, when I checked out the app, the app is super easy and I kind of get like overwhelmed, as you know, by any sort of internet purchase or app service. But this is actually really great and easy and it makes finding a lovely sitter for your dog, just the most comforting experience. And I, you know, it's, you love your pet and you want them to be loved. So I think this is an amazing service. Um, so, um, please, if you guys are interested to get $25 off your first booking, visit rover.com slash regular and use promo code regular during checkout. So, for $25 off your first booking, visit rover.com slash regular and use our promo code regular during checkout. If you need a place for your dog, please use Rover. Dog boarding, house sitting, drop-in visits, doggy daycare, and or dog walking. You love your dogs, so give them the best service. One more time, $25 off your first booking. Visit rover.com slash regular and use promo code regular during checkout. Thanks, Rover. All right, let's get back into the questions. I feel like I've hit my mic cord, which I have to get a new one, guys. Get off my back, I know. So next question. Okay, someone was just messaging me about my favorite murder podcast. It's the best. We love those girls and my favorite murder. They're the best. Okay. Um, oh, okay, so Mia, or Maya, apologies, wants to know about my tarot card experience. So... As you guys know, I really hate doing internet shopping. I hate buying things online. It's always a shenanigan. Getting it delivered to your house is always a shenanigan. Um, but I I bucked up and I got some tarot cards. So I got the Wild Unknown, which was a, um, a recommendation from my friend, uh, my friend Auntie Donahue, who if you, if you do not follow on Twitter or listen to her podcast or bought her book, Nobody Cares, and her podcast with the same name, you're crazy. She's incredible and such a wonderful, wonderful woman who loves women and stands up for them. She's incredible. And hi. Um, she recommended this tarot deck to me. So um, I didn't want to spend the insane amount of money that the rock stores near my house, uh, crystal stores, wanted to charge. So I found it cheap on Amazon, ordered it. Oh, Okay. Could not get delivered to my house. It was impossible. And then a lovely listener messaged me on Instagram and told me that like this might be a sign because you're actually not supposed to buy your own tarot cards. You're supposed to be given them. But all my friends are like business women who enjoy a tarot, but they don't have stacks of tarots to give to me. I'm not friends with a psychic, even though I wish I was or an astrologer. And so I couldn't get gifted tarot cards. So they were like, this is a sign that you shouldn't buy your own tarot cards. Then I ordered another deck because I had the tarot cards sent back. And I was like, forget it. I'm just ordering another one because I really want to do a new podcast where I read tarots um, just for fun and then have conversations. So if that's something that you guys would like, let me know. Um, and so I bought them. And then... Uh, they didn't show up, but the first tarot set did. So the ones that were canceled and returned actually came back to me. So I was like, I feel like these are like meant to be mine. And then I was also given another message by someone from who listens to the pod who told me that the deck I bought, 
they had like a cursed deck and they had to burn them in the moonlight. And I was like, what? Which was terrifying. So um, I decided to press on and I started using them and they've been incredibly accurate. The things I'm pulling are crazy. They're what I need to hear. They're what... Um, they're what's going on in my life. I, as you, if you've listened to the, uh, conversation I had with Jordan, which I really hope you did. Cause I thought we had a really great conversation, but the deck I pulled for her, she even to this day is like, it was so accurate. So the tarots have been amazing. I try and do a pull every day just to see a card that I need to know, which I think is really fun. I mean, like if you're thinking about get, getting tarots, a friend of mine recommended, um, going to like a thrift store, which I mean, I don't know, maybe they're cursed or whatever. So sage them. But, um, Friends have gotten them from, um, yeah, thrift stores or whatever. They're really fun, and I really uh, recommend them. It's great. Even just to, like, have a daily reminder of certain things to keep you kind of focused. I have been loving my tarot card experience. I honestly cannot wait to uh, keep going and hopefully start introducing them into, like, extra episodes for the podcast. I think that just would be so fun. So let me know if that is something that you guys would be interested in. Um, let's see. Do we have any other questions here? Um, a lot of questions about the bangs, you guys, and I'm loving that. Um, okay. Let's see. Anything else? Any other questions before I go to our final sponsor and then, um, call it a day. Um, okay. So I do have questions about my, um, Top shop staples because people were talking about my mom jeans because I went on sort of a dare about my mom jeans. Um, but I am um, I'm loving Top Shop jeans. I don't know if you guys know about these, but like the Janies, the Jonies, the moms, they're actually really good. Although I was lifting up my mom jeans the other day and like a belt loop ripped. But I mean, like, it's not like I'm buying like you know a trillion dollar jeans. So I just sewed them back up and that was fine. Although someone has been, okay, these are the recommendations I have been getting. Everyone's saying, um, Levi's jeans and T Donahue guys. Yeah. The Levi's wedgie fit. She says I live for them. So I'm going to have to get on that for sure. Okay. So before we wrap this up, our final sponsor is Third Love. Honestly, we're talking about clothes and now it's Third Love. This is not even planned. You guys know me, please. I'm a rambler. But here we have found complete cyclical motions. As Jonathan would say, it's a full, cir- full circle realness. I did not even do that justice. So Third Love is incredible. I talk about this these bras all of the time. I wear these bras all of the time. They are incredible. Third Love Um, is an online bra distributor. It's made by women for women because they were frustrated by the bra shopping experience, which honestly, amen to that. We all hate shopping for bras. I hate shopping for bras. You're putting them over clothes, so who even cares? But um, Third Love has really changed how I feel about them. Um, The co-founder and CEO felt there was an opportunity to build a better bra, one that could fit perfectly. So what you do is you do a Fit Finder quiz. This quiz is like, less than a minute truly and it makes you figure out how your boobs sit and what your perfect size is I had no idea I hope this is not TMI that my boobs sit to the side I have side boobs you guys I had no idea and since then it is like I've been getting bras that have transformed my body I look thinner because I'm now getting a bra that actually fits the Fit Finder quiz takes less than a minute and it, it literally will identify your bra, uh, your breast shape and find styles that fit your body. And it is absolutely true. Third Love has 60 sizes, which most bra brands only carry 15 and they go from double A through G. 50% of women fall in between standard cup sizes. So Third Love invented half cup sizing, which makes sense because shoes have half sizes. So why wouldn't our boobs? Hello. Thank you. Comfort and quality is like of the utmost. These bras are tagless. The straps won't slip, which they absolutely do not. There's an ultra soft smoothing fabric and lightweight memory foam cups. It's incredible. And they have like really sassy styles that make you like feel good and you're comfortable. They also offer a fit guarantee. So third love guarantees a perfect fit and returns and exchanges are free and easy, which is incredible. So if you're a little nervous to buy a bra online, I'm telling you, try it out. And if it doesn't work out, which it will, you can return it. No problem. And get the bra size that is right for you. 
So Third Love knows there's a perfect bra for everyone. So right now they are offering our listeners 15% off your first order. So go to thirdlove.com slash regular and you will find your perfect fitting bra and get 15% off your first purchase. So that's thirdlove.com slash regular for 15% off today. So uh, get yourself a bra, people. You know, today's theme is sort of taking care of yourself. These are bras that are affordable, great, 15% off, get your bra right, get your body right, get your makeup right. You know what I mean? I hope you guys are enjoying this pod. Um, I really do like answering all of these questions. I mean, I love talking about this stuff. I mean, that's half the reason we started this podcast is because I love talking about like the random things that I'm interested in. Uh, yesterday on Instagram, or I think it was a couple days ago, I put uh, on an Instagram story that someone asked me what my hobbies were and I like had no idea. I was like, uh, pardon, um, none. But then I realized like through this podcasting kind of prepping for it with all the questions that I was like, oh, I have tons of hobbies and I love sharing them and talking about them on this podcast. And I'm like so thrilled that you guys are into them too. Um, It's so great. I mean, I love talking conspiracy theories, tarots, makeup, celebrities. By the way, you guys, let's shift for a second. I met Shania Twain last night. She came to the Second City. She is so cool. Such a lovely woman. Um, She was so sweet. She smelt amazing. She was dressed like so great, like so casual, but such a good look. Her husband was so nice. And it was just like, I remember singing Whose Bed Have Your Boots Been Under?, Oh my God, when I was like a little girl and it was like so cool to meet her and she was really, really nice. Anyways, I'm just uh, being sappy because I just really love this pod and this conversation and I love getting questions like this from from you um, asking, you know, stuff that we talk about on the pod and wanting to know more information. It's like really awesome and sweet and I also love that you guys are loving the conversations I'm having with my friends and fellow comedians and creators in Toronto And I love that you guys are digging that. So what I would love is if you want to have certain topics or if there's people you'd love us to chat with, um, please send them to me. I really am so happy that this community is growing. I loved the other week asking about what your favorite podcasts were and everyone sharing them. It's really, really great. I'm now listening to Armchair Experts. So many of you were saying that you were loving that podcast. I'm loving it too. Who doesn't love Dak Shepard? He's so freaking amazing. I love the episode with uh, Kristen Bell um, because like they're kind of like like a really cool couple and they were really honest and um, chatted about their hard times, which is like so great. At, or not great that they had hard times, but you know what I mean? Like it was nice to hear them kind of be honest and have, you know, um, relatable conversations, which is like what I really want to uh, to make this podcast have. So um I'm just looking at this comment. I just got a comment that was like, uh, so I officially looked up young Mark Marin, and I agree he's grown into his age. <laughs> See, I love that this is like people are looking into the dumb things I say, but I am glad that you agree that Mark Marin has now become way more attractive. Um, so I'd like to thank our sponsors for making this podcast um, possible. I also want to thank everyone listening who sent in their questions. If you have more questions, DM me on Instagram at the Stacey McGee. I will try and uh, answer more of them. And let me know if you want the, the extra tarot card episodes in Regular Girls. I would love to add an extra one throughout the week. So let me know if that's what you would like. And um, thank you guys so much for listening. Happy Canada Day for those Canadians. Happy Workday Monday for those that aren't in Canada. And um, I'll see you next week or this week. I'll see you Thursday. Bye.